Hi, this is uh, Rob at uh, Mountain Tactical um, Institute, and we're here with uh, Kala Grimes. And uh, Kala is a seamstress and designer here in Jackson, and uh, we brought her in to take a look at uh, our uniform for our uniform study. We wanted to get an independent, professional view uh, of how these uniforms fit on Charlie here, our model. So um, he's got the cry uniform on here, and I'm just gonna, I just asked uh, Kala to just kind of think and talk out loud as she takes looks, takes a look at this uniform and it's fit on Charlie and points out what fits well and what doesn't. And we hope by doing this, we'll get all get a little bit better informed on what uh, a garment should fit like and uh, learn quite a bit from Kala. So Kala, just go ahead and go ahead and start where you want and, Tell me what you're seeing. Okay. So I usually start kind of at the back, back of the garments, looking at the width of the shoulder and how the shoulders and the- Let's go ahead and start him around and have yep. him come up here. There we go, maybe like this, there <clears throat> so I can see better. So maybe have him go like this and have you right here. There we go. Got it. Good. So the first thing I see on this shirt is that there's excess fabric right here. Mm -hmm. Kind of want to bring this line maybe a little longer and lower down. So she has some pins and she's gonna just kind of pin it up the way, uh, as it seems just she may alter it to make it fit better, correct? Exactly, yes, thank there. you, yes. And so is this a, a question of maybe where the seam is built? Mm -hmm. well, or is it too much fabric or, or both? Exactly, it feels like there's, you see how this is, I don't know, folding under. Right. Where there's some excess fabric there and with it being a knit uh, body, we can make that a little more fitted and still have you know, do you have the stretch? Do you want to Because this is stretch, like in other words. So, yeah. okay. let me pin this up, and then we'll have Charlie move his uh, his arms forward and see how it feels. And okay. if it feels better, you know, at resting, resting, there's lots of extra st stiff fabric in this area. Okay. You know. So I'm going to be charging this and seeing how that feels a little differently, if better at all. It's okay if you poke Charlie and see if you can take out without saying <laughs> I bet, I bet he can. <laughs> I bet he can. So I do, however, see that this piece, Charlie, would you mind, yep, kind of comes under this way, so we don't want to get it too much, but I can kind of feel like, visually, this looks better with, the, with less uh, excess fabric. Right, right. So if I were cutting it from a designer perspective, I want to cut this line a little longer and lower. Okay. So how's that feel, Charlie, when you move around? Is it much easier the other way or? No, no difference. No difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you feel like it feels better tucking some of that fabric out of the way? Uh -huh. I can't really tell there is in terms of range of motion or anything like that. There's not necessarily a pull with the fabric like that. So visually to my tailoring eye, this is really kind of all I, I would want to do to the top. What would you call that? Feels... Would that be, is there a certain name you'd call for that? How that, is there a certain, you know, like the in, in seam or rise or what would that fit? Is there a name for that fit? It's just the shoulder seam. Okay, just, the, you know, wanting the shoulder, uh, this back little shoulder seam to be a little longer. And lower. So shoulder seam adjustment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. And then okay. as far as the pants go as well, to my visual, it feels like so the rise of a pant is pretty much from the front to the back, the crotch area. Okay. This looks a little tight to me, a little high and tight, like this should be a little longer. The right Do you need you know, him to spread seam. his legs out? <laughs> sure. Go ahead, spread your legs out, Charlie. Yep. So you know, just when he's at standing, this looks okay spread out, but it looks a little, you know, it's a little snug around his bottom. Um, but as far as the rest of the fit of the pant, this this uniform looks quite good to my head. Okay. Do you want him to, uh, maybe we'll get him, uh, Charlie, go ahead and uh, face this direction and lunge, maybe. So if you want in position, and then how would you judge kind of the way it fits here? I mean, it actually looks, not too bad. It still just feels a little short to me. So the rise is short? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And really, honestly, everything else 
looks like it fits well to me. Go ahead and lunge the other way and see. Any, yep, other, I mean, any, any other comments about anything else that you see that stands out to you? I mean, just for knowing movement is necessary in garments like these, you know, just for him, for his body, the fit here looks a little sunk. So the fit around the hips, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And you go stand up and Charlie's, uh, see, uh, those are 34. So yep. yeah, 34 pants and you uh, order a little bit bigger for your, because your thighs, your waist size, what's your waist? My waist is like 32 now. So you order big 34s just for the thighs? Yeah. Okay. So that was going to be my other question. How much bunching do you have up uh, like underneath the belt? Because it's, it's wire. You hit a bunch of bunching like in the back. In the pant material? Like, like, like in right here. Oh. Uh, yeah. Not much. These have these tabs on the side that allow them to be adjustable. So, uh, so you can see right here. Yeah. And you can really. Adjust how the waistband is some elastic material on there, which allows it to fit nicely on the uh, you know, along the waist. Small waist guy. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Any other comments you might have, Kelly? I mean, uh, so Charlie was talking about it being a little full in this area and movement. That would be full. Describe like full. Big. Okay, you know, so, too, uh, so too much material maybe? Exactly, right. So, I mean, if I were if I were tailoring this shirt for you at home, I'd probably take that in a little bit. I'd have to think about options to uh, remedy the pulling out, mm -hmm. you know, that's kind of gonna happen with any shirt right. with movement. So, um, you know, it might even just be, like I can tell, this is just, be curious. This must have a little polyester in it or something for um you know to help keep the structure but usually if they put some spandex or something like that in a in a knit if there's you know spandex or something that's stretchy in a knit yeah that helps hold its shape better so you might have more movement going up without it necessarily pulling out as much where this feels kind of more you know this knit it doesn't have a lot of stretch it doesn't have a lot of stretch exactly right where then you know it could be more fitted with a with a different type of fiber Material content that would fit better. Now, have you, uh, uh, Charlie, had it because you've already trained in this one, right? Have you had it pull out? Yes. So Some that's that. that's kind of the biggest issue is anything overhead. Uh, this material starts to bunch and come untucked, right. which can not a huge issue, but if you have if you're wearing some sort of belt with something that you need to grab, right, it can start to get in the way a little bit of things. So in my knowledge of garment making, we pulled the whole shirt out for me sure. so I can see how long it is. So, well, it's fairly long. But, you know, a different fiber content knit would be helpful. Because like it would be more tighter. fitted, we could right. fit it, fit it, it would have more stretch, you know, and a four-way stretch fabric, which goes this and this, would possibly help, you know, when you move it not necessarily pulling out it'll actually stretch with you which this fabric doesn't really it's a knit but it doesn't stretch at all that would be kind of the biggest it does a little bit this way but i think it would be helpful maybe for a four-way stretch okay to help that we're awesome. going to have you at the end kind of if you um at the end say okay of the three uniforms this one overall fit the best sure so kind of keeping your mind kind of like this it. one is i'm good with that all right let's go ahead and have charlie change and i'll try the next one but okay so we've moved on to the next uniform now and the model here is wearing about our turf sleeve um combat uniform and go ahead Kelly. i feel like kind of the, i feel like the overall fit of this top you know i think for range of motion these garments are have a little excess fabric in this area, which I see on this too. I feel like it uh, looks less cumbersome to me than the previous. And it's it's built different. It has multiple mm -hmm. seams in here. Exactly. Maybe they get a better fit. The other, you know, the cry mm -hmm. just had the one seam. Exactly. Right? Okay. Right. Well, and I think I feel like um, you know we get we get the shoulder seam for fit, which is actually fairly in a fairly good spot for him. Um, and then, but it stops here instead of continuing to go around where 
The other did have the knit go all the way around as well, but it does look like it, um, with this construction, uh, we are getting a slimmer fit with this, a similar range of motion. Correct, it sort of looks to me. Slimmer than the cry, but Correct. Is, does it fit well on its own, so not compared to the cry. Right, it looks to me like there wouldn't be much that I would do, you know. In civilian garments, I would want to do something about these drag lines, but I, I feel like in this kind of garment, it doesn't bother me because it, I, I can see what it needs to be used for, right? Is right, that right. helpful? With the uh, extra seams in there, is that an issue for, um, are those all potential weak spots that could bust out? Before? Always. In but general, is fewer seams better, or does it matter? Or what do you think, or what have you found? I feel like this is probably not too different in terms of actual stitching and, and seaming okay. from the other garment. Okay. So, um, let me do some moving for us and just see if it's, it seems to be staying in, to, in tucked in much better than the other the other garment. Okay. So let's, you know, just curiously, it still doesn't have the four-way stretch, but it's got much, much more give than the other garment, so I think that's helping. Okay. Do you think it's two-way stretch or just, uh, just yes. stretch in general? So yeah, two-way? two-way stretch. Um, you know, this one has, because it's a knit, it has a little bit of give the other way, but, right. um, you know, this knit is just a better, a better knit for that movement and not coming out of the pan. Okay. I do see, you know, it's de definitely even more snug in the rise and in the hips. So too, too snug or just more? I, to, to my eye, it's too, it's too tight. Too tight. Um, and uh, Charlie, these 34s also? Yep. Okay, so these are, these are the same, mm -hmm. same size, fit different than the cry, okay? And the first thing that I see different from the cry suit is that it doesn't have that um, inner gusset that helps for the movement. It doesn't have that same, Charlie, do you mind spreading your legs again? Um, so, this is, has, this is kind of awkward. Awesome. Like, I know. <laughs> Sorry, I know. I don't know how to say it. Um, there is actually a gusset in there, but the shape and the movement that the different shape, the more oval shape that the other pair had, yeah. I feel like allows more room for movement. Okay. Charlie, why don't you do the lunging again and see how that feels. Super tight. Super tight, yeah. yeah. Well, and the other, through. yeah. So the other pants, the cry pants, had several different um, stretchy panels right. to it as well, right, that allows for much more movement. So for this use, I feel the other pair is a better fit. Easy. I can see that it's tight all the way through. And it's tight, it's very tight down here under his, when he's bending like this back here, right behind the knee. This is very tight as well. To feel restricted, is it that tight? Yeah. Like you can there. see, I mean, it's right Like if you come back around here, you can see how it's really snug. Yeah, turn, you know, turn around. You know, it's definitely tug, snug. Like this, you can see how this seam is kind of cutting into his, mu his muscle. Right. You know, so that's definitely much more snug there. Trying to get into shooting position. <laughs> So this would be a kneeling shooting position. Can you get so, down there? Can you get on your heel? Like you would? Yeah, I mean, it's just tight. It's just tight. Yeah, yeah. the crotch is okay. tighter than I would And like. you just started training this one, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you don't have a lot of time. So maybe you loosen up after you train some more, but right now it's tight. How about, uh, like, notice on this right here, is that the same on the other side? It's kind of flappy. All right, so the, the pleats and the sleeve. Right. I see they are definitely a little longer. They use buttons oh. instead of Velcro, right? right? Yes. This is definitely a much more full on the side. Is that the same on the other? It's not as full. Is it the same button? Yep. So it looks like one side is different than the other. Is that, is it that is, what you're seeing? It looks cut. It looks like it's yeah, not the same. So it's like a manufacturer oh. maybe? Or? Can I put your arms down? Or maybe not. <laughs> no, I think they are the same. I think this one was just kind of tucked up. Okay. So I guess, you know, is that troublesome? That is quite a lot of excess fabric with two, two big pleats right there getting in the way of getting caught. Do you think that would... I mean, it 
I wouldn't want it any tighter than this. Okay. The cry has much more material mm -hmm. in the sleeve. So it's uh, just a different yeah, design is looking different to us. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, the cry was, is too much material here, in my opinion. Um, this is kind of just enough because it allows you to breathe a little bit. There's sure. the breathability issue that you want. I probably wouldn't have these if I was doing anything serious. I wouldn't have these buttoned up at all. Mm -hmm. um, maybe rolled a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, overall fit looks pretty good on the top to me. I feel like top. I feel like this looks better to me than the cry. Okay. But the pant, the cry pants. I definitely feel like function and look better. Okay. Yeah. Any anything else? Overall, these are generally fitting him fairly well to okay. my eyes. So. Okay. We'll go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, so uh, this is the final one, and this is just a uh, standard issue on the uniforms that's being issued to Army guys going down range. And go ahead, Kelly, tell us what you're seeing. So, I mean, overall fit uh, really looks quite good to me. We're going to have you turn this way. Yeah. There go. Really in every, you know, the shirt seems to be nice, form-fitting, not too tight. The rise looks, you know, to me, on all of these garments, the first thing that I'm coming to is the fit of the rise and the hips. Um, so it's not tight this point? It's not the tight. Feet. It's the also not the same. Area, right? Yes, from exactly. The, yep, from, from waist to waist. Okay. Um, How should that fit? I mean, it shouldn't be too tight, but it shouldn't be too loose, right? Right, exactly. Okay. It kind of has to just be perfect, and it's not going to be for every. Everybody. Same shirt, same thing is not going to be for everybody. Right. So on Charlie, you know, this looks like a more comfortable fit overall. You know, not too tight, not too long. Okay. You know, if you rise this too long, then you're not going to be able to walk and move and bend and lunge and do all things. Things will get in the way, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. Okay. Um, I do think, uh, like with the cry uniform, I feel like this gusset is a better shape for all of the movement that needs to be done and to actually have range of motion. Charlie, why don't you do the um, lunging for us again? How's that feel? Much more mm -hmm. yeah, do you, yeah. You know, it's not tight, you know, with the last pair of pants, it was very, those stumps around the back of the thigh, where, or the back of the knee where you're bending, doesn't look as tight. Um, I do see, so there is a little pull with this lunge where- It's going in. Yeah, turn around. Face. Yeah. So, you know, we've got a little pull right here. So that would indicate that it is actually a little short. On the rise. Mm -hmm. Because um, because it's pulling, pulling like this on it. Yeah. Okay. So again, I feel that uh, overall the cry pants are the ones that uh, accommodate kind of almost everything in terms of um, movement. Okay. With, because they had that uh, stretch panel that was right here. Right. So I think that probably helped, you know, keep it more snug around the waist, you know. Shoulders, uh, no, Shoulders this is, they, I mean, this, this, this is stretchy, so it's kind of more bumpy. Right. I mean, this looks, I, you know, with, with any shirt that has the raglan sleeve, which is, you know, has the seam coming across from the neck. That's called a raglan. Raglan sleeve, yeah. Raglan, okay. Um, and rather than the seam going across the shoulder, there's going to be a little bit of bunching there. And okay. I think, you know, that's normal too for the, the need to be able to move. Okay. So overall fit of the shirt actually looks quite good to me. Um, Charlie, why don't you stand up and do, you know, see if we have the same. Yeah, so both the Arcteryx and the Issue shirt are better for staying tucked in, okay. keeping their shape, not getting too blousey. Um, Really, it seems to be kind of those those two main spots that I see the most on fit on each garment is the rise and how the shoulders are with excess fabric under the arms. Yeah. Everything else seems pretty good to me on all of them. Would the uh, the cry uh, top and this top be a wash in terms of better fit, or would you choose one or the other? I think. Uh, for fit, just visual fit. Yeah. I feel like they're pretty similar okay. in terms of. Fitting well. Arcterics and issue. Arcterics, I'm sorry, Arcterics and issue. Yes, excuse me. Yes, Arcterics. Okay. Yes, an issue. And to my eye, the cry pants are the best. Okay. 
Muscle uh, Heavy is from the Cry Camps and the uh, Arturk shirt there, Charlie, what kind of do final one? Okay, so we're kind of finishing up and uh, got Charlie here in the uh, Arturk's top and then the Cry Bottoms and uh, um, Cal says these are the two uh, top and bottoms that kind of fit him the best. Yeah, I mean, I definitely, when you walked back out again, I felt like this was definitely the best fit. You know, now that I'm looking at this again, I don't know if it's just having put it on a little bit differently, this is kind of pulling right here. So when I feel this, this could probably be a little bit longer than, you know, the pocket that goes across. But I think in general, this, these two garments are the best fit. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, John. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>